In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at working with photographic design elements and images in CorelDRAW as monochrome bitmaps to create designs like the one we see here in CorelDRAW. A total departure from vector, very different look, very different style than vector. Vector is good, it's very useful, but if we take a look at images on Google Images, we can see all of these vector looks, and these are good. But being able to have something else in your arsenal that perhaps your competition doesn't have, so that you can make designs that go way outside the vector realm, and have these really awesome, really modern looking effects on them, based on what's trending in the design industry now. And I got these images from Pixabay. Here's the dirt bike image, that's free already got a transparent background great to work with because of that I need to search for powder textures and I found these sand like images or textures to work with so I was able to work with those and convert those into design elements that I used in this design to create it so let's take a look at how we'd set something up like this design very easily and quickly in CorelDRAW to get started I'm just gonna pull back on my center mouse wheel and zoom out select my motocross image already has a transparent background I don't really like the bounding box being so big so I'll go to my crop tool in the toolbar left click hold down release I'll just double click that to crop that and that'll be my biker move him over here a little bit more the next thing I'll do is I'll go to the rectangle tool in the toolbar left click hold down and I'm gonna give myself some extra space down here for my sand effects for the dirt bike design and I'll fill that with black right click order and then I'm going to go to back of page so now that's set up then I'm going to grab this texture image and actually I'm going to zoom in and take a look at that see, see how this is cutting off here I don't really like that so I'm going to get rid of that I think it's doing some more of the same over here. Yes, it is. So to address that, I'm just going to have this selected, and I'll go to Edit Bitmap. Then it'll open my image in Corel Photo Paint, and I'll be able to get rid of those straight line edges on the texture of the sand. And to do that, I'll go to my paintbrush, which is right here. I'm going to get a brush like here, 100. Make sure the color is set to black, and just go through there. And you can see I'm getting rid of that. You'll zoom in here and just come down through here and you'll see I'm getting rid of that hard edge where it cuts off and I'll do the same thing down here just come through and just make sure you don't have that really hard straight edge soften that out a little bit now I'll select save and that will then be ready to be used as a monochrome design asset I'll close photo paint and that's ready now so I'll bring this up into my design. I'll zoom in and I can see that this bitmap is behind the biker. So I'll just right click, go to order. You can't see it, but I'll select in front of and I'll put that in front of the biker. Now you can't see the biker there, but what we're going to do is we're going to use a screen merge or blend mode from transparency so we can see that. So go to our transparency tool. We'll change our merge or blend mode to screen and now you can see that and I'll be able to work with this and mix it into this image what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this vertically and you can see that this curve of the texture effect fits right along the tire there so I'll put that right there left click make this a little bit bigger and then reposition it say right about there so it fits nicely right in the design then I'll take this again, left click, right click one time, duplicate it, and I'm going to mirror it vertically again. I'm going to click and rotate that and bring that up here into my biker. Something like that. And I can make this a little bit more warped, something like that there, and bring that in over here a little bit. Now this I'll right click and I'll go order. I'll go in front of and I'll click on my vector and send that to the back. Now you can see this design has a really nice kind of sand flow 
effect incorporated into it, really putting some action into what's going on with the biker who's flying through the air with the sand. I want to add some more to this. So what I'm going to do is I'll scroll out or zoom out, pulling back on my center mouse wheel. I'll bring this texture over. Now this is going to be in the back by default, so I'll just go ahead and I'll hit Control X, cut that, Control V, that'll paste that in. Then I'm going to go to the transparency for that also and change that to a screen mode so I can mix it in. Then I'm going to go back to my pick tool. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And I think I'll rotate that some. Now the screen effect might be a little too strong. So I'll go to my transparency and I'll just make that a little bit more transparent. And you can see how that just blends in a little bit better. It's real bright right there, but here it's going to blend right in and go back to my pick tool. Make that even a little bigger, I think. Give that some more effect coming off. Really give him a lot of sand coming off of him for the effect in the design. So now I've got all of this set up and ready to go. I'm happy with the way the, the sand's flowing and the look of it and the effect that we're going to have in this design. I'm going to left click, lasso, pull, and select everything here. It's at 30 inches now. I'll resize it a minute. I'll go bitmaps, convert to bitmap. Don't need anti-aliasing. Don't need transparent background. Select OK. Let that process. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to the image. I'm going to crop it to bring it down in size. I want to make sure I don't cut off anything here. I'm cutting off a few things there, so I'll bring that over this way. I'll bring this over this way. I'll double click and crop that. And I'm going to zoom in and just look around and make sure I'm happy with everything. Nothing being cut off there. And this all looks good. Really nice effect. Now we're going to convert this to the inverted duotone with color from the Fashion Factory. So I'm going to bring my t-shirt comp over here. I'm going to resize this down a bit. It doesn't need to be that big. Bring that down to right about there in size and then I'm going to go to my color factory. Now I've already got that open. If you need, need it to you go to your advanced tools docker and click on it and there it is but I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to go with the duotone with color invert. The reason being is I'm going to work off the darkness of the color of the shirt for the darkness in the image for the effect and then be able to apply this to the logo and set up my design. Now the other thing I'm going to want is my textures. And believe it or not, I accidentally combined my textures. I should have duplicated them. But that's really not a problem at this point. I could just go back to Pixabay, go to this image, and I'll just grab it from the website. Right click, and I'll copy the image. I'm just going to bring this back in so that I have it, because I'm going to need it in just a minute, and I'll paste that in. That's going to go all the way over here to my page, but I'll bring it over here. I don't need this to be huge because it's just going to be for effects. I'll bring this over here so that I've got that to work with. And I'll take this, and I'm going to open up my color factory, and I'm going to convert this to a duotone with color invert. And what we're going to do is we're going to play off the darkness of the shirt, the inverted white and in color to create the effect of the monochrome design. So I'll bring up my Color Factory plugin from the Advanced Tools Docker. That'll open that up and then with that bitmap selected I'm going to go with the Duotone with Color Invert. And I'll run that. This image is a little bit bigger so it'll take just a minute to process. Now what that'll do is it'll take the black and the color and separate them. Then it'll invert the black and change the color to just red. And you can change that red to any color you want, being a duotone with color invert. I'll minimize my color factory. I'll lasso and select all of this and bring it over here on my t-shirt and you'll see that effect. And that's an amazing effect. 
You can see where you could really do some amazing things with all over and sublimation prints working with these monochrome effects. But let's take a look at a few things. I'm going to resize this to the size of the t-shirt. Then I'm going to mirror this horizontally. Then I'm going to rotate this up a little bit more. Probably resize it out a little bit more this way. And the amazing thing is that even though you have the color here, Here's the color, which is a monochrome, and you can see that down here in the taskbar. And interestingly, you take this color, and we'll just remove that, and take this white, have this set to outline, go into your different colors, change that to outline, outline, and go from a white, just left click, pull down in here, and you can see the effects I can start to make with that design, working with the color. Just one color, but just a really nice looking, impressive image based graphic to work with in CorelDRAW. I'll hit Control Z and I want to hit Control Z and go back to the white and the red. And we'll bring those back. I'm going to take this red and I'll come down here through my color palettes and we'll go to a lighter kind of sand like color. And there you can see the effect how it looks on the t-shirt. It's only two colors, but it looks totally different than vector. And these two I'm going to take for now, make sure I've got them both selected, which I do, hit Control Z to put them back, then I'll group them. I grab my logo, and I'll bring that over to my design, and position that on the shirt, and there you can see that. Now that's in the back, so I'm just going to hit Control X to cut that, and Control V to paste that, and it'll go on top of the shirt. Then I'll push forward on my center mouse wheel and zoom in, and I can see my logo with my Dirt Flyer text, Big Air Dirt Flyer. Now here I'll take, and I'm going to change the text color, the same color as the shirt, so I'm going to fill that with this dark brown and then I'm going to duplicate this over and I'm going to fill it with let's say the lighter color for that type of effect not that bright that's too bright we want to go with something that's a bit of a lighter color something like that will be fine for now so now that I've got all of that set up for my design I can go to this texture that I set up. I won't need this anymore, so I'll move this over here. I'm going to take this texture. I'm going to go back to the color factory. I'm going to go with inverted monochrome and let that process. Now, once that's done, I'll have that monochrome here, and you can see that. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to take this monochrome. I'm going to rotate that for the effect, and then I'm going to right click, bring this over my text, release that, and go to Power Clip Inside. Then I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to go over here to and click off, click on, come here to Edit Power Clip. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change this to the lighter color. Or actually, I'll just go with white for that. So I'll scroll up here in my color palette, right click and change that to a white. Now you can't see it, but then I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times throughout my text to get some effect in there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go finish editing power clip. And you can now see that effect or the effect of the monochromes power clipped into the logo and the text. Now I might want to do some more with this and we'll zoom in and we'll take a look here. I might want to bring some texture in through here and work with some of that. And that looks really nice the way that's set up. And you know, I don't have a backup copy of that I could convert this to a monochrome again, or I could just go into my power clip, go to edit contents. I'll just take one of these and I'll copy it. 
and then I'll go to finish editing power clip and then I'll paste that back in. Now that that's white so we really don't want that color but I'm going to go ahead and mirror this and then I'm going to rotate it and just bring some of that sand design down in through over the text as you can see here but I really don't want to step on what is the tire so there we could have the effect going right through there go to the gold right click change that color that's a little bit too strong from that I might want to go into a lighter color I'll scroll through here and see what I've got for options for a lighter color and actually what I'll do is I'll go with outline from my color docker I'll come here and that outline is now set into a different color I'll come down into a lighter area of the yellow and the orange come up into there you can see I can dial that effect or that color right into where I want it I'll zoom in and take a closer look resize that a little bit smaller and now I've got that effect going on across the shirt I might just take this and make it even smaller I really don't want to step on my biker but I do want some of that effect over the text coming down into the shirt maybe like right there and position that and then just do that again and maybe some more up here at the top I might add in and you can see how that effect works now if I want to soften that then I can go to the transparency with the monochrome selected and just pull this out this way and that'll soften that up do the same thing down here go to my pick tool and select this one down here and go to transparency and then bring that up that way and that'll soften that up quite a bit maybe not quite that much and then just slide this up a little bit into that area and I can move this also see the X left click bring this up and now I've got all this effect going on with this t-shirt and I might want to lasso and select my text and bring that in just a bit and then come to my biker design I'm just going to move this all off to the side a little bit or into here just a little bit more to dial that in as far as I want everything aside and I go with a big lasso to make sure I get everything bring that size down if I want to make the logo text a little bit smaller I can do that and bring that up into here kind of like that and we can see how that design really starts to come together as a monochrome working on a t-shirt and it's just two or three colors and you can set this up as two colors one color etc but yet get these really nice effects and designs that you're just not going to get with vector and that's really the difference between working with the monochromes in Corel Draw and working with vector you're going to be able to create designs with just a few colors that have all of this imagery and effects going on with them that you really just wouldn't be able to do with vector and vector definitely has its place believe me I'm using it in this design it's great when you start mixing the two together you can get some really nice design effects and you can do some things and have some things in your design arsenal that perhaps your competitors don't have and you can present some options to your clients that your competitors cannot working with just a few colors in Corel Draw. So we'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.